send button. It says that's I N. You have the COS button and you have the TAN button. We're going to be using those three buttons. Now we're only going to talk about right triangle trigonometry, none of the other stuff. <coughs> and we're going to use it to find length of sides and measure of space. <coughs> and we're also going to throw in a word problem or two. So here's what you need. Now you'll notice this is on the formula sheet with the triangle too. When we have an angle in our right triangle that is not a right angle, we can talk about the trig functions relative to it. So, Katola, the side that makes up the angle, that also makes up the right, tri right angle, is called the adjacent side. The side that has absolutely nothing to do with the angle that we're looking at is called the opposite side. And this side is the hypotenuse, just like it was when we were talking about the Pythagorean theorem. The side opposite the right angle is always the hypotenuse. And so the definition of our trig functions are that the sine of A is the opposite over the hypotenuse, the cosine of A is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and the tangent of A is the opposite over the adjacent. Now, see this? We're ignoring those. You have a calculator. You don't need to memorize a bunch of special triangles. There's a calculator for this. So, first thing we need to do is we want to figure out what, a, what B, X, and Y are. Let's start with B. This is a right triangle. If I want to add up the measures of all of the angles in this triangle, what will I get? 180. What if it were bigger and I wanted to add up all the angles? What would I get? 180. What if it were this teeny tiny little triangle and I wanted to add up the measures of all the angles in it? What would I get? 180. The angles in a triangle add up to 180 no matter what size the triangle is. How many of you are going, well, obviously, I know that. How many of you know? Yeah, some of you are doing that. Do you know I've invariably given a question on tests that says the angles in the triangle add up to, and one of the choices is it depends on the size of the triangle, and somebody always picks it. <laughs> it doesn't depend. It's always 180. My next, by the way, my last class that I had decided that they thought they would pick out the person who's going to give that answer on the next test when I offer that test. So, yeah, one of these going to decide. One of them is going to decide that they can afford that 10 points and just answer for the fun of it. It depends on the size. So it should be pretty easy for me to find the measure of angle B. Because what do I know about right angles? What are their measures? By the way, this should be marked for some reason I lost it. It's 90. So angle B, so the measure of angle B is going to be equal to 180 minus the right triangle minus the other angle that I've been given, so that will be a total of 60 degrees. That was easy. All right. Which one do you want to find? X or Y? Which one do you want to do first? X? All right. We want to find X first.